Coach Curtis, obviously a seasoned veteran of the staff. You know, back in the 1990s, uh, a lot harder to make the playoff. Fewer teams uh, probably experienced some lean years, years here at Tolosa Midway. What's it mean being on this coaching staff experiencing this fourth uh, fourth round playoff run? It's fantastic. This school waited a long time for it. Uh, Coach Akers has done an incredible job. Uh, he holds the kids accountable, holds us accountable, and uh, he just the kids love him. You know, he's tough on them, and, you know, I kind of am too. We're the older guys, but we got a good mix of young coaches too that kind of make everything work right. What do you kind of bring to the table as a, you know, varsity, top of varsity assistant coach? What do you try to instill in the players? Hey, you know, experience, you learn from experience, man. And just, uh, you know, I take care of I pretty much hit all the infield and, and uh, work with those guys, and double play balls, everything. Uh, just, I don't know, man, I just bring a lot of years, you know, a lot of fun go. Uh, Situational stuff, drill work, things like that. You know, I guess I don't know. How many years have you been coaching high school baseball? It's my thirty third year. Wow, thirty three. Um, you mentioned, uh, you know, previously winning the state championship six A in Arkansas nineteen ninety. Uh, you've you've been six years a head coach here at Tulsa Midway. This is your seventh year as a varsity assistant coach. Where else have you coached? Well, I coached at uh, Kennedy, Texas, for three years before I came to TM in the nineties. Okay. Uh, before that, I was at uh, Weimer for one year. And I was at a community high school up around Dallas, a little 2A school. So I was at 2A school until I got here. When I left here, I went to Rowlett as an assistant coach and uh, had a real good program there. Uh, worked with Paul Carmen, who's done, you know, was the only coach I've ever had. And then I went to uh, Lake Hamilton in Arkansas in 2000, 2004 when we won state championship in 2010. Um, is that actually Piercy, Arkansas, or Hot Springs? I was looking. At. Uh, Piercy is the school district's uh, address. Yeah. Okay. But it's in it's in Garland County. We call it. Hot Springs. Okay, I understand. Hot Springs. It's in the woods. <laughs> a lot of lakes, a lot of trees, a lot of bass fishing. Uh, you mentioned previously you've seen a lot of similarities between that state championship team and this team. Uh, how so? What what's unique about this TM team? Just the unity. I mean, they're a close group. You know, with that team we had that won it. All you had to do was get the keys to the bus. By the time that came around. These guys are just coachable. You know, when you're around a group like this, it just it makes it worthwhile. I mean, it's fun. You know, it's not stressful. You know, there's times when things get a little tight and all that. You know, it's just the unity of this team makes it all worthwhile. What are your thoughts about playing the number two team in the state? Send y'all play the number one team in the state in your district. How much is that going to help prepare you for what's going on? I hope so a lot, <laughs> man, because we played all the 29 5 day teams too. You know, when you play uh, GP, you scrimmage them once and play them twice. And, Veterans play them twice, King twice, Moody twice, Ray twice. I mean, you know, if it doesn't get you ready for, you know, for this, I don't know what will, but uh, Sinton's loaded. They're just a fantastic team. Coach Alanis is a, is a great guy and a great coach. He was a heck of a ball player. I'm good friends with Gene Casper. He's a neighbor of mine in town. I get to, I'm fortunate enough to see him often. He's, you know, there's your experience right there. That dude's amazing. You mentioned 33 years as a coach. What's your age? I'm 57. Okay. It's going to be 58. Okay. When's your birthday coming up? August 3rd. Okay. Um, 